Hello guys, welcome back to the CDS Cloud. This is the video number five in our Net Scalar training series. Today we are going to discuss about the different topologies in the Net Scalar. In how many ways we can configure the Net Net Scalar in our net infrastructure. The first is very common topologies one R mode, which is mostly used in our environments. What is one one R mode? So in one R mode, you can connect the Citrix ADC appliance in a network in a single VLAN. Means the data will receive from a single a subnet, or you can say that simbug single VLAN. And again, the data will be transmitted to the single VLAN. So here is the example. Like this is the client. It's on the same subnet. It is requesting some query from the net scaler then net scaler is co communicating with these backends and you guys can see that there is the same type of ips present in our net scaler like single type of ip in our net scaler management ips this is the same vlan in snip and whip so whip and snip are communicating on the on a single vlan and again you guys can see that my servers 192.168.1.13 they also are in same vlan so in this is like the example of one r mode where all the servers my net scaler my client are working on a single vlan so this is the perfect example of one r mode now let's discuss about the net scaler two r mode so in two r mode the net scaler will get the request or you guys can see that data packets from separate vlans so here you guys can see that my client is getting the request uh, this client uh, user is sending the request to a different subnet ip this is 10.1.1.2 so this this is just an example after receiving the data from this uh, client the net scaler is communicating to different vlan so here you guys can see that the net scaler is co configured on 192.168.1.100 so this is a private vlan so this is the example of two r mode where net scaler will catch the uh, data traffic in one different or you guys can see that different subnet and then it uh, from another uh, from another hand it will catch or you guys can say that send or receive data on a separate vlan so this is like two r modes so here you guys can see that my whip is configured for a different vlan and my net scaler and uh, the backend servers are configured on a different vlan so these are the two r mode so guys let's discuss about the multi r mode so in multi r mode we are going to configure the net scaler into our mode but it is going to communicate with the different types of vlan so like that my net scaler is configured in 192.168.1.100 this subnet but it is going to communicate with this subnet also which is 10.1.1.12 the net scaler is going to communicate with this subnet also which is 172.168.10.32 the net scaler is also going to communicate with this VLAN, which is 192.168.1.14. So, net scaler is configured in 2R mode, but again, it is communicating with different types of VLAN with the help of SNP. So, again, if you have, uh, let's say, the IP 172.168.30.1, so again, you guys need to configure a SNP for that, and then again, it will going to communicate with that VLAN also. So this is the perfect example of multi R mode. So in details, we will see these configuration when we can configure in inside net, the net scaler. So this is like brief introduction of network topologies. We in how many top, topologies we can configure the net scaler. So this is the end of this video, guys. If you guys think that videos are informative, just share with your friends and subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you, guys.